Good morning. It's a beautiful drive. Just heading down this canyon. There's a particular spot I'm looking for that has some bull trout. So that's where we're headed this morning. It's kind of a, I don't know, almost like a kind of lake, kind of a pit, I guess you could say, an old mining pit. Uh, for rumor has it though that there are uh, big brown or big bull trout living in this thing. So that's where we're headed this morning. Got my coffee and just going to enjoy the drive up and I'll see you on the, on the pit. All right, I had, I had to stop. I can't just drive by this section of a river. Uh, wait till you see, and then you'll realize, okay, you probably wouldn't have kept going either. But there's a spot over there, and then kind of another one up there that I'm gonna fish. Oh, there's a, there's like a big old shelf up there, or down there. And then another really good looking spot over there, so. Man, I would have bet money that there were a fish in there. I mean, it's pretty clear. I worked it pretty good. Is there really no fish in water like that in Idaho? Is that even possible? Anyway, I'm gonna keep on a keep on him and get to the spot that I originally was trying to get to. All right, I'll see you there. We are here. So this particular big pit, this was dug out over a hundred years ago and it blocked the, mig the migratory path for bull trout. So, of course, you know, nature finds a way, right? For the past hundred years, bull trout now ha are sustaining in this pit. They run up the creek, spawn, come back into the pit. So it's a pretty unique fishery, but it just kind of goes to show you that, you know, some of the, some of the short sightedness that we had a hundred years ago. I mean, it's like fish, who cares? Let's dig a giant mine. <laughs> yeah, so it's, uh, but it's cool. It's cool that they're back in this pit. So let's, let's go see if we can catch and release some of these bull trout. All right, I'm gonna get my stuff on and let's go do this. Fish on. Well, this wasn't expected. Oh, there we go. Oh, I had a fish. Dang it. Oh. I grabbed it. Shoot. Now I got a mess. Got one. Yeah. This actually looks like a rainbow. Nice, pull trout. Sweet. Ugh. Look at this guy. Beautiful bull. Well, that was pretty cool. Started off with a place to myself, uh, but then a few other anglers came, but it's all right. We all got into some fish and caught a cutthroat, I think that was, and a nice little bull trout. Caught another bull trout off camera. My uh, GoPro battery died and all the batteries I brought are dead. So I couldn't show that one off, but just a pretty cool way to start off the day in, in this super unique fishery. All right, off to the next spot. Down the center of the creek. Looks good. I can just find a way to get down there without killing myself. That'd be great. Oh, I just scared the fish away. So I guess that's a good sign. I'm gonna take my dropper off.
back in the car. And I have to tell you, I had my expectations were a lot higher than what I've gotten so far regarding the fishing. The fishing's been pretty slow. Um, some beautiful water, I mean, just incredible water. Shocked that I haven't got into any fish. But that's the reality, and right? And part of the reason why I decided to post this video, even though there's not a ton of fish, is this is real, right? This happens a lot, even to seasoned veterans like myself. So don't feel bad if you go on a weekend trip and you just sort of don't really catch anything, because that's, uh, that's just part of it. And But I have to tell you, I loved getting out here into the back country and exploring new waters. I mean, there just isn't anything better. I'll just find a new spot the next time I do the same. All right, thanks for joining me. And if you want to see a video that does have a lot of big fish in it, check out this video right here. I promise you, you'll enjoy some big fish in the net on this video. All right, everybody, until the next time, fish on.